You open this can, it's not as beautiful as her. Oh. And this is a beautiful can. Je t'aime beaucoup. Oh, very nice, very nice. Je vous What would you guys like to say? Good job, guys. Go get them. We're rooting for you. Yes. Here's the mind. You're both punching. Erica, it's Think about it. work between us. I'm sorry. <laughs> India? Well done. <laughs> Congrats to you two stunning queens. Beautiful ceremony. Love you guys. Is there anything you want to say to the bride and groom? I just want to say, I want to hold your ass. <laughs> <laughs> I can't top that, but your ass are so cute. Baby, cry. I love you both. So what would you like to say to the bride and groom? Congratulations, guys. We can't wait for the babies. <laughs> <laughs> what would you like to say? Oh, <laughs> Have a fun honeymoon. <laughs> Get it on. 
Congrats. Say congrats. Oh, congrats. There we go. Why would you like to say to the bride and groom? Oh my god. That's really fresh. I don't know. I wouldn't think that's the same, right? I haven't had enough to drink yet to say anything. I'm glad you did. It was a beautiful day. I loved it. I couldn't do anything like that today. I agree. It was so beautiful. Eric, you look stunning. And Michael, oh my god. Your mouth is the most beautiful thing I was following. It was amazing. Bye. What a wonderful world. <laughs> Amazing. Beautiful. You called us a bad guy. Right? I know, that's what I'm supposed to do. What would you guys like to say to the bride and groom? Uh, have a wonderful, a wonderful minute. marriage. Oh. Oh. Yeah, that, that, I like that. You like that, yeah? <laughs> no, um, enjoy every moment, have lots of adventures, and laugh heaps. And we Never stop you. traveling. Congratulations, oh my god! And we don't know him. Yeah. <laughs> Congratulations, awesome wedding, awesome life to It come. was awesome. Oh, it was just awesome. Yeah. Love it, guys. That yeah. was Mikey, yeah. you got yourself a stone cold potty. Erica, two words, yeah. Stockholm Syndrome. <laughs> yeah, purple, you just said. Absolutely. Oh, sorry. Uh, um, Erica, you look yeah, absolutely the bar to the main bar, please. I would like to say congratulations. I love you both so much. Have a happy marriage together. I'm going to be there for all of it, so I'm down there. <laughs> what would you like to say to the bride and groom? Uh, I wish Michael and Erica all the best for their future. I think they're an amazing couple. They complement each other. They're both ambitious and driven, and I can't wait to see what they do together, where they end up, and what their lives are going to be like. And I just hope very much that I'm a part of it because I love them both very dearly. That's so sentimental. You're good to go. Oh, we're already going. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. Hello, Michael <laughs> and Erica. <laughs> Congratulations, blah 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 blah. I'm keen to see more terrible sweatshirts, and I really don't think the chicken was that bad. But that, that's pretty much all I have to say. I just want to see more sweatshirts. Good. Good. What do you want to say to Erica and MK? Erica, Michael, love each other forever. And a baby coming soon. I want to be grandma. <laughs> Anything you want to say to Erica and MK? What? Anything you want to say to the bride or groom? Hell no, brother. Love you guys. You guys are so beautiful. I love you guys. Never anything standing in between you and your dreams. It's one of the things I love about you the most, that you uh, never give up on the things that are most important to you. Michael and Erica, guests, good evening all. Firstly, Mike. Okay, I didn't want you to hear me actually. <laughs> My son, I love you very much and I'm very pleased with what you've done with your life so far. <laughs> it was that Mike had chased his dream halfway around the world.
and of the lovely Erica. When I met Erica, we seemed to get along well. <laughs> Erica was courteous and respectful, smiled often, and liked my jokes. <laughs> Liking my jokes is a big plus. <laughs> you two obviously love one another very much. Continue with this and continue looking after one another and you two will be on a great and awesome journey. <laughs> For those of you that don't know me, I'm Sarah. Hi. <laughs> Is honestly, I'm gonna try not to cry. <laughs> Erica is honestly one of the best people that I've ever met in my life, and that's why Rainy is lives. Um, she's one of the most non judgmental people I've ever met, and she's very, her spirit is contagious. If you're ever in a room with Erica, you know that if she's laughing, there's at least 10 other people laughing. Or if she's upset about something, it's a real thing. Like, also a bit of a wild child, for those of you that don't know. Uh -oh. We were in Las Vegas for her bachelorette. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. But as the saying goes, what happens in Vegas stays in Vegas. Yeah. So I can't actually say what happens. We had this fact that if there was ever a bear, that Erica would get to hide. <laughs> and run away from this bear, and I would have to deal with it. <laughs> Honestly, one day that she was going to go and do her master's in Australia, and I told her, just as the other Erica who married you had said, you're going to go to Australia and you're going to meet your husband, and I'm never going to see you again. <laughs> but I have seen you again, and you did meet your husband, so I was right. I was right. <laughs> And I'm very happy you did. Michael, honestly, I've never seen someone so adoring to their wife. I honestly love you as much as I love Erica because I love you. <laughs> but deep down, I was like, okay, after all of this, after all of our friendship, after all of our years, it's like Michael's gonna be the one now who's gonna have to deal with the bear. <laughs> Hi, everyone. Hi, my name is John. Most of you know me as Michael. First of all, I just wanted to acknowledge the bridesmaids. They look absolutely stunning. And to be fair, they made up for what was the groomsmen. And then to the bride and groom. What a cup. Thanks for putting on such a great week. It's been genuinely amazing, so thank you so much. So today, tonight is uh, it's really like a uh, a pitbull and Chris Brown hit song. <laughs> it's international love. <laughs> Erica, if you could put your right hand on the table, <laughs> ne close closer to your husband would be great. <laughs> And Mike, could you put your hand on top of Erica's? So what we do is we ask other people in the room about what makes your relationship special. And it was pretty phenomenal. The, the words that came out were Mike and Erica really balance each other. Uh, um, they really push each other to be the best versions of themselves. And they're just really, really great together. You make each other really, really happy. And it was really evident from when I was talking to the people in the room. Now, I want you to turn to each other and look at each other in the eye. And Mike, I want you to remember this moment because it just might be the last time you have the upper hand. <laughs> hey, uh, we've been best friends since we've been a twinkle in our dad's eye. <laughs> <laughs> and ever since that time, we've been partners in crime. We swapped sports classes when we got bored, we swapped year 12 formal dates by swapping tuxedos. <laughs> and, um, Erica, do you remember that morning when <laughs> Mike made you breakfast, he, he asked you how you were feeling, 
and the coffee. Yeah, that was great. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, please charge your glasses. To Mike and Erica, may they be partners in crime forevermore. Yeah. My name is Brian. I almost got away with this. I almost did. <laughs> Erica grew up together and we uh, had a lot of, let's just say she was a pain in my ass and I was a pain in hers, but she's the only cousin I ever really consistently talked to and Uncle Dean was like a second dad to me, so I'm just really, really honored that I get to be here with her and I know for a fact that he would agree with Michael. She messaged me around like probably closer to nine months ago and was like, Brian, hey, like, can you write a poem for my wedding? And I said, of course, of course. But I don't think I actually understood the fact that I was actually going to be speaking about it. <laughs> so I've been writing poems for 10 years and this is the first time publicly I've ever recited any poetry publicly. So. <laughs> It's uh, called a story called Love. Once upon a time, I often wondered, how can love be a concept so vast, but be contained within two bodies? One day I looked into your eyes and the answer was right in front of me. With every touch we shared, we grew slightly more. And yet this is only the beginning. Then, thank you so much for having me here. And Michael, welcome to the family. Ryan! Yes! Yes! Fuck yes! Wow! Anyone else have a turned on? Congratulations to the bride and groom. May I present them for the first dance?